Well, hello there. So today is uh, Pi Day, as in we are on March the 14th, 2015, and at 9.26 and 53 seconds, we're going to have Pi accurate to um, nine decimal places. So what's this Pi thing all about? Well, it's uh, to do with circles, and technically it is the ratio of the circumference and the diameter. Okay, what does that mean in um, normal English? Um, let me demonstrate, and I suggest you do uh, this yourself to get a feel for what pi really means. So I've got a circular object here, circle nice, circle here, and I'm going to wrap this piece of paper, a strip of paper, all the way around this curvy bit of the circle. Right, This curvy bit is also called the circumference, circumference, yeah. And I am going to make a mark where it crosses over, as in I'm going to measure the length. And there we go. So, this is how long the curvy bit is when I wrap, take, unwrap it and take it out. Now what I'm going to do is wrap this around, not wrap this around, sorry. Uh, it's going to measure a diameter. The diameter is this side here. Oh, can't even see it. Uh, the longest length from edge to edge passing through the center. I'm going to make a little fold there. I'm going to do some folding now. I'm going to fold this diameter length into itself. Here's one fold. And so it's one, two, and I've got three legs now. So looks like I've got three diameters that fit in, and by the time I've got fitted in those three diameters, I end up back almost the circumference. So it looks like three and a bit more would give me the entire circumference. Well, that is the meaning of pi. It is how many times can you wrap up the diameter of a circle and get the length or the circumference? It's not actually three, as you can see physically there. It's three and a bit, which is 3.14159653, whatever. Uh, this, this number keeps repeating and it's also called an irrational number. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to demonstrate this once again with a bigger circle. Ta da! So, piece of tape. Wrap this one around. Same sort of thing. Actually, this one conveniently wraps all the way around uh, without me running out of uh, any length there. Do the same again. So, this is how big this time. It's much bigger than the last one. The strip is for the circumference unwrapped. You're going to get the diameter, edge to edge, passing through the center, fold it here a little bit. So, one fold lying into itself, two, so that's one fold, so two diameters. Three diameters, and guess what? I've got a bit more left, so that's three and a bit diameters. So I suggest you try that out with the different circles and you'll see no matter what the circle is, you will always end up with three and a bit diameters for the circumference. And that is the meaning of pi.